2022. Highlighting the need to have this issue addressed even as the world is preparing to mark the World Tuberculosis Day tomorrow. And as such, tonight, my guest is none other than Karen Boro, who is uh, uh, a senior technical advisor, pediatric and adolescent at um, Eliza Elizabeth Glazier Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Thank you very much for making time, ma'am. Now, we've already seen the statistics. Several years down the line, we're still tackling tuberculosis. But now in the recent uh, days, we've seen Kenya adopt um, a guideline by WHO that uh, recommends short-term treatment of tuberculosis 1, I think type 1 in children, uh, with non-severe disease. Unpack this for us. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. TB is still here with us. We are still not where we should be uh, with regard to case detection and coverage with treatment. Yes, WHO provided new guide, guidance around uh, shorter courses for treatment and even shorter courses for prevention. And as a country, this guidance was uh, adopted quickly um, and incorporated certain aspects for treatment decision making, especially for children. Mm -hmm. Because for children, you have to rely heavily on clinical decision making, not so much some of the lab work that is required to be done for TB. Mm -hmm. And through various processes and stakeholder engagements and development of standard op operating guidelines and you know, adaptation of the algorithm for diagnosis, all the way to piloting some of these tools and now the rollout of shorter course treatments for children since January 2024. Mm -hmm. So what does short course treatment look like? Uh, typically for pulmonary or some other non-severe forms of TB, for example, those affecting the lymph nodes, um, we treat for six months. So we give an intensified course for two months with four drugs, and then we continue for another four months with uh, two drugs. So this has come down to four months in total where we have an intensified course for two months and then the continuation course for another two months. Mm -hmm. And we are really excited that this also is for our children. TB treatment presents a pill burden across populations and how much more for children. So the, 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 what we anticipate to see and what has been proven to show, to, to, what has been proven really is that shorter courses improve compliance. I think if you are given six months and four months, you choose the four months. Actually, when you say yeah. that, it, yeah. you picked it from my mind because mm. growing up when uh, we were attending uh, sensitization campaigns on mm. 